All right, guys, out here on the James super early this morning. Um, it is a Monday holiday. Uh, they just had the MLF tournament finish up yesterday afternoon, so shouldn't be too busy out here. We're out here, it's about 5.30, so sun hasn't quite come up, even though it's fairly bright, so should be able to get some fishing in pretty much immediately. I'm gonna try a couple of these little deeper spots off the main edge river. Um, maybe some of the rock jetties, a couple of the pits maybe around here, and then maybe go into some creeks. Um, it's a little bit cool this morning. It's about 60 degrees, so it's a little bit chilly. Um, so I'm gonna see if the fish aren't hanging maybe on some of these more main edge, um, maybe main river areas, but um, see if we can't catch them. Thing just didn't even really hit it. It's actually kind of decent size. I don't know how well I got him hung. He barely flicked at it. All right. I mean, that's actually a pretty good fish, guys. Didn't even make a noise when it hit. But it is, that is a scrawny one, needless to say. It's got a big head on it, but it is super skinny. skinny that fish is oh my goodness tail all ripped too it's kind of a crazy looking one i'm gonna scale it up see if we can't figure out our best five today two pounds seven ounces so pretty long fish to be that skinny but we'll let it go but on the board within five minutes so that's a good sign or a bad sign i'm not sure i feel like i always catch one in my first spot and then struggle Hit it again. He missed it and then came back for it. That's a big fish. Oh god. That's a big one. Let's go. That's a thick one. That's what we're looking for, guys. Sometimes it's like you can't get the hooks in them, and sometimes you feel like you can't get them out. Guys, look at this thing right here. Look at that tank. That is the exact opposite of the last one. Super thick. Right out in the middle, kind of right here. It missed it, and then it just cranked it. Gonna go ahead and get that one scaled up, too. But that is a really good one. Hot start to the day. Four pounds, four ounces, kind of dark. I'm not sure if you can see it or not, but that's a that's a nice one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and let it go, but that's a pretty fish. All right, guys, there we go. Great start to the day. I'm gonna go ahead and get the release on her. And there he goes. All right, guys, I'm just throwing this big walking bait, and that's two good bites. So, Let's see if we can't run into one here.
it just barely hooked. Well, he swallowed it basically whole. There's always one sitting there. Look at that. They do not usually eat it like that, but oh my goodness. That is pretty impressive. It's another solid one. This one's back to being kind of skinny, but not quite like that other one was. Oh my God. Guys, this might be an absolute giant. This is a large mouth. This is enormous. Or it's just the biggest blow up ever, which is also possible. I it was. Oh my goodness. Guys, I thought that was a 10 pounder. What an explosion. This is a good fish, don't get me wrong, but what an explosion. Oh my gosh. You guys took some work to get the hook out, but look at that beast right there. I mean, oh my god. I swear that was like a legit eight or nine pounder when it hit. One of the biggest blow-ups I've ever seen back in this corner. I don't think it's quite five. It's probably close, but... Oh, all right, guys, only four pounds, one ounce. I mean, I say only, but the way that thing hit, I thought it was bigger than that. But we will take it. It's two fours today. All right, I'm go ahead and let her go. The crazy thing is, so you hate to be disappointed with a four pounder, but I'm serious. I don't think I've ever seen a blow up quite like that. That might be the biggest blow up I've ever had. It absolutely destroyed it. They are killing this mega bass walking lure today. on the scale that's definitely the smallest of the day it looks like but it's still a solid one and even two pound zero ounces second one we've caught like that it's a little bit I guess, thicker than that earlier one I caught there we go so I was a limit in about an hour pretty close to the boat ramp um, right now I put this at 14 pounds and 12 ounces for our best five with uh, two smallest being two pounds even. So we should be able to cull up from there. All right, so still sitting on five. We haven't got a bite in about 30 minutes or so. I'm gonna ride um, out and see if we can't fish that grass creek in maybe a couple different spots. I tried a couple of these pits and I tried a couple of the main areas um, off the main river. So let's see if we can't try something different. Top water fishing. That thing inhaled it. 
completely disappeared. Still probably isn't going to call one. It's, it's definitely in two pounds, but decent chunky fish. That's keeper size. I switched over the buzz bait. I caught the first 10 on that walking lure. I switched up, tried to fish some of this shallow, like wooden rock up against this bank here and got a nice bite. Crank bait. That's a good fish. Oh, damn. That's a legit good one. Let's go. That should get one. That should put us over 15 pounds, I think. Been having a lot of success, at least for me, off this hybrid hunter style striking crankbait. I'm not a big crankbait person, but this one really works. I throw it to kind of, I think it's just like a perch color, but it's got this like kind of blade. It kind of goes, it stays up above the grass. It only does probably like two to four feet, but it's kind of erratic and they seem to hit it pretty well here. That's a nice one. I'm gonna put it on the scale. We were at 14 pounds and I think 12 ounces, so we need a, about two and a quarter. This may do it. take it that was probably right about two pounds as well i don't think it would have done much for us but another top water bite gives us unlucky number 13 of the day all right guys gonna fish about 15 more minutes so i'm gonna try this pit and then call it a day um but let's see if we can't get another good bite I don't think I have him hooked very well. He just clipped it. Let's see if we got some momentum. Let's go! Another top water bite. I mean, guys, it's this is 110. And we're still top watering them. I'm about to break all my rods because this thing is hung up in it. Let's see if I can't get him out of here real quick. Where are my pliers at? I'm a mess. There we go. It's legit hung with like all my rods right now. There, another good one. That might call that one of those twos. Oh yeah, two pound nine ounce. So at nine ounces, that gives us 15.9 for the best five today. We got a, what do we get? A two four, a two seven, a 2.9, a 4.1, and a 4.4. So I'm basically out of GoPro battery. I'm going to end the video on that one. But I appreciate you watching, and uh, hopefully we can get out here again soon.